Hi, name's Colin Marshall, work for a company called Nossy Ashwood Working. We are bespoke manufacturers of technical furniture. These are for the security and broadcast industries. We're currently working on a project for Cambridge Science Centre and we're bespoke manufacturing modular exhibit tables. Nossy Ashwood have been in business for 22 years now. This is the first project that I can remember where we've had to supply exhibit tables. It's been interesting and at times it's been a bit frantic pulling all the parts together to make it all work. So we've just got the plans from Colin. Yes. Uh, tell us what happens next. Uh, basically from seeing the, the basic plans, uh, Colin will give me a basic CAD drawing um, and then paperwork with information from the customer with their requirements for the job. Next stage for me is to then do a basic CAD drawing uh, with as much information on it as possible for the customer. Um, for now, now that will get sent back to the customer for OK and any particular changes they want. We then go through a process of drawings and changing it until the customer is happy. And when I get to a final drawing, um, I will then, with this drawing, take apart every single component uh, and place it onto flat boards, uh, which allows our CNC operator to then toolpath, uh, basically tell the CNC machine how to cut. My name is Barry, um, I'm the CNC operator here. So, and I get given a copy of this drawing that Kieran was telling you about, which when I get it, gets turned into sorry, basically this drawing, which gives you no information, so therefore you go back to the CAD drawing, take the details of the um, depths of the holes and so on, but they're all drawn in for you. But uh, as long as the machine knows which lines it's cutting the inside, outside and depths and so on, and generally we, we get on our yeah. own. Okay, so as I was saying, the computer shows you lots of colours, lines and everything else. The actual code that it reads is on numbers and letters. So X being the distance the machine has to travel, Y is across and Z up and down. And it reads it, as I say, all in numbers, which you can tell is a lot of code for just one sheet. Luckily, we don't have to program it in anymore. It's all just done with clicking on lines. But years ago, if you were doing this, you would have had to type in every single detail which thankfully I can do it in five minutes now. Um, next I will then I just go to the actual machine, pick up the program I want, collect, uh, activate it, tell the machine to go, do the suction, put the board on, put the suction on sorry, and away it go, hopefully stand back and it will all do its job there. Once all the pieces have been cut, um, they get put to the side, Kieran will come along, pick the stuff up or give it to somebody else to then go and build and then hopefully everything's nice and sorted and they'll come to you. So we've just come from the CNC machine and all those bits are brought into this room. What happens next? This is our, our basic construction room. When we bring the components over, they are in a basic component form, lots and lots of pieces, almost like a big jigsaw. It's then basically a working out piece by piece what goes where and then basically constructing. And this is the prototype table, right? It and is uh, have there been any interesting challenges with doing that? Um, yes, really making uh, the different modulars fit in, in different ways. Uh, of the A2s then wanting to be able to fit into an entry size space. He's working out the space of bars which are these components, um, which make it easy for you to then chop and change pieces around. Yeah, certainly with the, the CAD drawings, uh, it's made our life so much easier and a lot quicker. Uh, it means we can draw quickly and efficiently um, and do repetition very, very simply. Um, the same with the, the CNC machine, it's a very simple way and a quick way of reproducing uh, component after component that's accurate and you can produce it two or three years down the line and it'll be as accurate as it was the day that you, you actually drew it. Yeah. Had the Cambridge Science Centre wanted to produce something even ten years ago uh, would have been a similar kind of thing, a basic possibly pencil drawing with information on it that we would then drawn out a full size drawing or a rod made cutting list notes, a lot of it will be hand cut on the saw. Um, we have some older machinery at the top of the workshop, which is very, very hands-on. Um, would have probably taken us three, if not four times as long to build.